thank you so much for for inviting me today. Uh, it's a big pleasure to be here again. It's been many years and since I've been in the UPC. I actually started my my stay in Barcelona 25 years ago here at the UPC. Uh, and after that, I founded a company called Quantum Medical, and we designed a depth of anesthesia monitor to make sure the patients are not waking up during the anesthesia. That's a terrible experience if you think you're going to be anesthetized and you're paralyzed and you actually wake up during anesthesia. So we designed the Carnox monitor, which was then sold to Fresenius Carby, which is a global player with 250,000 employees. So we're now selling the, the Carnox worldwide. So this has been very much a, a success story about how advanced digital signal processing implemented in relatively simple electronics can lead to a very sophisticated device. And so what we do is that we monitor the EED, the EED waves of the patient, as we see here. And we define an index, the QCON index, which is an index of the level of consciousness, and then ensures us that the patients are not too light anesthetized, and on the other hand, they're not too deeply anesthetized. Because one thing is that you can wake up during the anesthesia, but it's also um, bad for the patient. It's worsening the outcome if the patient has too deep anesthesia. It's like a longer time to wake up. It can cause post-operative cognitive dysfunction, delirium in the patient. So a number of reasons for not overdosing the patients with anesthetics. And we are the only one in the market which is having both a, an index of the hypnotic effect, so the, the effect of sleeping, but also an index of pain or nociception. So the anesthesiologist can then dose the amount of propofol, the, the sleeping medicine, and also the painkiller, the analgesia, so the patient gets the right balance of both a hypnotic and analgesia. We are also involved in a new project here, also in collaboration with uh, uh, Michel Arco Manianas here in the university, where we are, want to develop a patch to monitor uh, non-invasively different methods of uh, um, respira respiratory monitoring, non-invasive blood pressure monitoring. So all the activities that I'm involved in is, is, is around uh, making a, a non-invasive monitoring system, so using mm -hmm. A signal processing on the signals, defining indices, which then gives a diagnostic tool to the doctor. Another interesting project is the, the Causus Health, uh, where we are combining EED and heart rate variability in order to monitor systemic inflammatory response syndrome and sepsis. So sepsis is really a serious issue for, for patients of 50 million people who die of, of sepsis every year in the world. And it's not very well understood and it's difficult to monitor. So here we, we are also trying to, to apply science into monitoring a, a, um, a parameter of the patient, which can then indicate to the doctor what would be the best treatment to uh, obtain uh, the right monitoring of the patient. So this is somehow an evolution of the other monitors that we have developed where we started with just awareness and then we had no susception and now we're moving into inflammatory and sepsis monitoring as well. As I already mentioned, yeah, it's a serious it's a serious issue, so it's important to to try to to prevent sepsis. Monitor combining, and I think this is interesting. I mean, we've seen other companies presenting ED. I think there's a lot of physiological parameters that can be monitored, and we can combine uh, these in order to uh, derive new indices for uh, diagnostics of the patient. So I think I will move. This is, you, you probably know this heart rate variability. It's an interesting, very interesting concept. In fact, that if you, when you're awake and, and normally functioning, then you typically have a high variability uh, between the R peaks in the ECD. And as you get into post-surgery or critical ill, then the time between various uh, os, um, uh, R peaks are getting more constant so that is a parameter that we can use for monitoring different states of the patient. I think I will just, it's decreasing it, even during exercise as well. There's watches we can use for monitoring heart rate reliability as well, but obviously not as precise as a medical device can, can do it. 
but it's it's been shown in numerous papers that inflammation is very linked to the changes in heart variability. So the the value proposition that we do with the cautious monitor is that we can substitute a biomarker uh, blood sampling of IL-6 or TNF. So with the non-invasive monitoring, we propose to be able to uh, make a faster and cheaper monitoring of the patient. Mm -hmm. So what do we expect from the new hub? Well, I think it's it's a great idea, and I think it's both for startup but also new projects inside multinationals. We often look at innovation as being something for a startup, but in big national, international, or multinational companies, obviously there's a lot of innovation as well, and and I think here is there's a number of, of areas which are basic for any project patterns, uh, clinical studies. The clinical studies are extremely important. I think the hub can, can can help us to to get access to hospitals. That's been one of the, uh, I think one of a for me a very important uh, platform to have good contact to hospitals in Barcelona and being able to to get into the operating room and record data from patients. This is essential when we develop new devices that we have this access to a operating room or other wards in the in the hospital. We have also heard about the importance of the, the CE marking, the, the test laboratories, the notified bodies. It's getting the regulatory part is getting more and more difficult every year for us. Now we have the, the medical device regulation, which is much tougher than the medical uh, device directive that we used until now. So I think this is some uh, situation where we can collaborate as well. And finally, commercial contacts, trade shows as well as maybe also a a possibility to put into the uh, new hub. Thank you for your attention.